to uh, another video. Today what we're going to do is some electrolytic rust removal um, of some tools which I've been given by the men's shed, the local men's shed, to see if they can I can clean these up so that they could use them. If you're not familiar with men's shed, very very good organisation. It's designed as a meeting place for men of old ages, all ages rather. You tend to get a lot of older guys there but younger guys as well. Meet up, they work on various different projects. Um, the one that I'm in is, is fantastically well equipped. You've got metal lathes, wood lathes, uh, massive um, bench drills, all kinds of everything that you could possibly need in a workshop, welding gear, all the kit. And the idea is it's a place for men to get together, it's to look after men's mental health and to um, combat loneliness amongst, uh, amongst men. Um, and it's, it's a fantastic resource, it's great as a, as a pool of knowledge if you're wanting to learn about stuff um, but also just as somewhere to go to meet other guys and work on projects together and, and um, just keep yourself occupied and, and keep your mental health well aligned really. So what we're looking at is this we collect some tools here. This is my electrolysis bath if you will which I made up to do um, a vice actually that I uh, wanted to recondition. In here we've got water, I've got um, I don't know a couple of pints of vinegar, white, just cheap white vinegar and a load of caustic soda. Um, basically you want as much caustic soda as you can physically dissolve. So what we're going to do is connect all this up and then I'll run through with you um, what I've done. Right so that's um, all the bits assembled, so we've got the sacrificial metal, you want that to be reasonably clean, so I've gone over that with a flat disc just to clean it up, and then linking the plates together. I did it with crocodile clips, but as I found out the first time I did this, um, don't put your crocodile clips in the liquid because they'll come out completely destroyed. Uh, so I'm just using bits of wire and bolts at the minute until I can get some new croc clips. And then I've got my spanners all hanging on here. Same thing, ideally crop clip to connect it all together. But in the absence of those, I've got bits of wire. My power supply is just a regular um, battery charger. It's actually a 12, 24 volt battery charger. Um, so we'll connect that up and then switch the power on. So your positive battery lead goes onto your sacrificial plate. So I'll find a suitable place to attach that, which I think is going to be about there. I'm trying to keep those out of the liquid as we've found out before. That's a new battery cable because I destroyed the old one because it was in the liquid. Schoolboy error, it should be fairly obvious, but you know, what's wrong if you don't do something really stupid? And then I've got the other one doesn't matter quite so much if this one's immersed in the fluid because this is going onto the metal that's going to be de-rusted. So technically it should de-rust my clip. So clip that on, but I have got a clip for my clip. Clip for my clip, sugar for my honey. And that can hang in there like so. Okay. Power on. And we want a reasonable degree of separation for, between our items so they don't touch your touch. And then battery charger on. 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 Okay. I don't know if you can see that, but it's fizzing away now so. We know that that's working nicely. We'll get a close up of that in a second. This one has a boost option on it. I've got it on boost at the minute, but it will thermally cut out with that. So it's better just to leave it on steady charge. But there you can see it fizzing away on the boost setting. Fizz. It's only last about 15 minutes on that before it cuts out. That's switched over to the slow charge setting, so not quite so much power. I've got it on 24 volts, don't really know if that makes much difference. I don't know what the ampage pull is on 24 compared to 12. So I don't know if it actually produces more power. 
So we're going to leave that fizzing now for a few days and we'll come back and see how it's doing then. So I'll just rest the lid on top just to hopefully keep the cat out. She won't be very pleased if he drinks that or falls in it. What's the point? The wife won't be pleased. And you don't want to wait, make your pussy angry. Let's face it, nobody wants to face an angry pussy. Right, it's time for the big reveal. Something's been happening because look at the state of my metal. Look. Everything's unplugged. Open the spanners. Oops. Except for the ones that fell off. go. Not looking too bad at all. Yeah, we'll call that a win I think. Let's give it a bit of wire brush, but mm, not bad. Mm -hmm.